So what's up, guys? It's good to be back. Um, <clears throat> we had an incredible time there in, in the Philippines. Uh, I, <clears throat> I think uh, we didn't know what to expect, you know? I mean, we didn't really, because I didn't plan anything, <laughs> literally. So it was kind of like one of those things, even when I had to give my report to the missions department, they were like, so did you do like devotions at night and stuff? I'm like, devotions at night? So, uh, yeah, we went to bed, man. <laughs> you know, burned out. Uh, but we did everything from, from working, as I, we thought, but then that extended into going to prison, sharing with guys in there who actually that prison don't allow them, they don't have, they don't serve them food there. So talking to people like that, we went to hospitals where we prayed for, for people. And as when I say these things, I hope you guys understand, I'm not talking about like a hospital that has nice lights and nice windows and air conditioning. I'm talking about, you know, we were praying for a little baby who this crib looked like it was like out of a scary movie. And the, the room was like cinder block and actually that baby died. And it was pretty messed up to know that. But um, so we did things from that to, to going throughout the churches spread throughout east, uh, Western and, and Eastern Samar, which were, when I say spread out, I mean five hours away, four hours away, where all the guys went on their own to their own church and was able to share nine of us. We went into an hour and a half drive on one of the little skinny boats and went into the jungle and went into villages and were able to pray with like the, the chairman of the village and it was incredible we did things i've never experienced in my life and so the work there is great uh the lord met us there uh i think the people almost started to worship dennis because uh, he was the one who had to take a boat over to an island to share and uh we said after time we're going to see like a totem pole erect on that island it's going to have like a beard. And we're going to hear drums going and people dance around naked. And Dennis is going to be in the middle of it. And, and, uh, but it was, it was just really neat, man. I thought, man, he's going on a straight. And then I was mad. So I'm like, why do you get to go on the boat and go teach at an island? And I got to stay here, you know. But it was, it, Oscar jumped on a dirt bike and drove two hours to the church. He had to share at. I mean, we, because we had an all-men team, they were able to just use us in that way where, you know, that, that you're just like, well, you guys are all men. You kind of take care of yourself, you know. Just go and do whatever. Go deep into the jungle, <laughs> you know. You guys will be fine, <laughs> you know. Go, go by yourself over to the island. You, Ricky and them, Ricky, Scott, and Raymond drove five hours away to their, it's like, and they had to stay there overnight. And you know, so they were able to just to break the team up and not have to worry about it because we were all guys, you know, and that was really cool. Um, but it was super hot, miserable as far as the weather is concerned. Uh, my opinion, at least. <laughs> uh, bugs in the room, uh, fireflies in the room, crabs in the room, uh, geckos in the room, uh, and all kinds of other little thing, hard things hitting the walls when you don't see them at night, you just hear them smacking on the wall. Uh, uh, rainstorms at night, um, but beautiful. It was incredible. Uh, the, the, it was, we were so deep into the province that you were, if you guys decide to go there next time with me, which I'm thinking about going again later this year, uh, you're talking, you're a foreigner. You know what I'm saying? You go to the marketplace, they just hear you talking, they look like, well, who's talking American? You know, it's like, we were deep into their place, and that was incredible to be there. Um, so there's a lot of work still to be done, and we're planning on taking on a church there to support them and help in the building. Uh, I mean, there were boats still in, in the middle of the road. There were there was still mass devastation and there was not teams out there helping. So as any devastation goes, you know, everybody goes at the beginning and then as time goes on, it kind of dissipates. But, uh, but it was incredible and, I, and, I, and I'll invite you guys to whoever is interested in just wanting to see anything. When we have our, we're gonna have sort of a little potluck type thing. That way, I mean, I'm not talking about all here, but we we'll have like a little potluck type thing and invite whoever's interested and just wanting to see kind of what went on and maybe think about going uh, with us on the next 17 hour flight. Uh, small little seats, well not for me, I would, you know, if you were taller like Dave, you got a problem. Uh, then from the 17 hour flight, we took a one and a half hour flight to another place and then from there we took a seven hour drive 
into the province. So the travel time is like, you're delusional at the end of it. You don't even know, and then we'll, you forget your name. And then Oscar and I decided to sit on top of the jeepney where the boxes are for seven hours, which was, which was really rough, man. I got hit by palm trees, mosquitoes, all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> my wife's like, you, why do you do that? Then I got sucked out by a riptide about 300 yards in the ocean. I was floating out there by myself. My brother thought I was gonna die. <laughs> my wife's like, what are you doing, man? Can't you just be normal? I'm like, no way, man. So uh, anyway, that's a little bit of it, but we would like to share with most of you guys if you're interested. We'll probably do it here in the Films Republic sometime. Um, pretty soon here, have it dinner and everything. But other than that, um, I heard everything was cool here. Hector came and shared, uh, and uh, and then Glenn came to share. I heard Glenn try to put a guilt trip on everybody, but if you guys used to be in the men's ministry three or four years ago, you'd know Glenn did that almost every Thursday. <laughs> try to guilt trip into the serving or give you money or some kind of thing. 